The Northern Lights, or Aurora Borealis, are a creation of space weather. They occur during what's called a geomagnetic storm. That's when charged particles from the sun interact with air molecules in the Earth's upper atmosphere. In short, what happens is a high energy particle from the sun collides with a low energy particle in the atmosphere. The energy is transferred from one to the other and the air molecule becomes unstable with this additional energy. It radiates it away in the form of light. And when this happens to millions of particles simultaneously within the upper atmosphere, well, it causes the whole sky to glow. What colour are the northern lights? Well, when excited by a solar particle, the air molecules will glow different colours depending on the type of atom involved in the reaction. Oxygen molecules, for example, at altitudes of 150 miles will glow green, whereas oxygen and nitrogen molecules at lower altitudes can glow blue, yellow or even red. In the Southern Hemisphere, uh, the equivalent of the Northern Lights are unsurprisingly called the Southern Lights or the Aurora Australis. The process has even been observed on other planets as well. NASA has photographed the aurora on both Jupiter and here, an example of the aurora on Saturn. The Met Office Space Weather Operations Center provides forecasts of when and where the aurora might be visible. One of the tools they use is the Ovation model, which uses solar wind and magnetometer data to create a probabilistic forecast of where in the world you are likely to see the aurora. The location of the aurora depends on the intensity of the space weather event. Solar particles enter the Earth's atmosphere at the geomagnetic north and south pole. The larger the event, the further towards the equator the particles will travel, causing the aurora to appear at lower latitudes. The largest recorded geomagnetic storm in human history is known as the Great Solar Storm of 1859, or the Carrington event. During this event, the aurora was reportedly seen almost across the entire globe, from the poles right down to the tropics.